The Memorial Day weekend is here, many preparing to finally hit the road, and thousands in the Bay Area will be headed to Napa for Bottle Rock. That's fun. Three-day festival kicks off tonight. Uh, however, it does come as those COVID cases are rising. Today in the Bay's Ginger Conahero Sop. She's live for us in Napa. And Ginger, you talked to a local doctor who has some good advice for all of us. That's right, Marcus and Laura, good morning to you guys. Now, Bottle Rock is really such a tradition for many here in the Bay Area to usher in the summer season. Take a look at some of the people who are ushering the Memorial Day weekend in pretty early. Uh, they're kind of uh, making their chairs and their, their places set right now, but they've been camped out and have been waiting for the gates to open, which happens later at 11. But the first person in line was here at 2.30 this morning. He said he actually thought he was a little late. Now, if you're planning to make the trip up to Napa for Bottle Rock like these folks, there are a few things you need to know. The festival starts today and runs until Sunday. Bottle Rock is cash free, so be sure to register your wristband for payment methods and pay close attention to the rules surrounding bag size, as well as other prohibited items, including outside food and alcohol, chairs or glass containers. Now, those people we spoke to have checked these off their list and they're ready to get Memorial Day weekend started. This is my first music festival in general, so really looking forward to this. Um, but we're really just mainly coming to see uh, Greta Van Fleet, so. <laughs> just Metallica, <laughs> only Metallica. I've seen him probably like, I don't know, like 30 times now. Now, I also asked these festival early birds if they had any safety or health concerns with the uptick of COVID cases around the Bay Area. They say they do not. Some don't feel the same as, uh, as these festival goers. But for now, festival organizers are not requiring proof of vaccination or masks at Bottle Rock. But with COVID cases on the rise, we did sit down with UCSF physician Dr. Peter Chin Hong to talk about ways to stay safe, not only at this festival, but other upcoming summer events. Dr. Chin Hong says a lot of the cases are of the latest strain of COVID, a strain the original vaccine was not constructed to fight. So he says while vaccines are still effective at reducing your risk of hospitalization, it's still worth keeping those masks handy. Well, I would still say that uh, wearing a mask in a risky setting is still really important because of the confusion and you know disruptions that even getting a breakthrough infection uh, results in. And it's not like you have to wear a mask everywhere, but you know, I take my mask around with me, like the way you take your umbrella if you know that it's stormy. It's a great way to put it. Now with a rundown of what you need to know about the festival and that piece of information from Dr. Peter, who can we expect to see at the festival? The lineup this year includes a little something for everyone. We've got Luke Combs, Pink Metallica, who Ben is really excited to see, Alessia Cara and Pitbull. Uh, like these festival early, you know, uh, early birds, as I like to call them, uh, they're already ready to get this Memorial Day weekend started and to try and be safe while doing so. Uh, the gates open at 11 here at Bottle Rock and it'll run throughout the entire weekend. Back to you, Marcus and Laura. Yeah, 